My name is Shkel, guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, you can see everyone is just legging it to, of course, Lord Silent himself. And I think someone actually ranked up. Look at that golden boy over there. Congrats, bro. But obviously, we are going to be going to Iron Banner this week. And usually, I wouldn't really re-review weapons. I've already kind of gone over so quickly. But with the current meta gone around, it is basically a bow meta. Maybe a sea bow meta. Sea bow meta. Sea bow meta. Sea bow meta. Okay, it doesn't fit, guys. We all know it's a sidearm freaking meta. The sidearm meta. Sidearm meta. Sidearm meta. But yeah, combo bows themselves are really, really strong right now. And that is why Point of the Stag, honestly, is going to be a really, really dope bow for people to pick up. Because I think a lot of the kind of good bows that have gone around, obviously, exotics are one thing. But Rant Contour, um, there is like Strident Whistle. A lot of them are a lot of RNG and everything like that. And it does take a bit of grinding to kind of get to you. At least with Iron Banner, you'll be having some fun at PvP if you like Iron Banner. And you can start to focus them. So if you do, of course, have Engrams, you can see this will be the cost. Now, how you unlock this first, by the way, if you don't have it, it requires rank four, which is honestly super easy, guys. Rank four is only a couple of games, even if you lose them all. And then you can, of course, start focusing for them. And you will see on the screen all the rows you can kind of get. Now, me, personally, I think when it comes to a god roll for this sort of weapon, it's going to be something like Archer's Tempo. Pretty much Archer's Tempo in that middle slot. Some people like Elemental Capacitor. And then in the other slot, there is a lot of good ones. The Precision Instrument's good, obviously, PvE. Uh, Golden Tricorns is good all around. And then it does have that juicy Swashbuckler, which on a Precision Frame will let it start to, to uh, one-tap. So if you think about people who are rocking, of course, Strand builds, people who are rocking, of course, Solar, like Throwing Knife builds, it's kind of gotten a lot easier, especially with Grappling to get instant melee kills, especially with bows. And that's why this thing is going to be an absolute banger. That's what we're going to be going in with our own swatch book in a row. Now, I do have shot swap on this, but it's kind of ass. But we're not going to worry about that because I didn't get orange would But I will say that swatch book clear, this is sort of role you want to be going for. As I said, swatch book on a precision frame is super fun. But guys, as I always say, don't take my word for it. We're going to showcase this. What it is like in PvP and why you should do Iron Banner this week to try to get it. So without further ado, let's go into PvP with the point of the stag combo bow. Alrighty, so we are going to be on the burnout with our point of the stag, running our freaking arc titan with, uh, of course, depending on Greaves, because I want to get this uh, swashbuckler kind of going by five, but it means I have to get some one taps going, so we got to do this, and I'm so dead. Oh, no, no, <laughs> that's how I had it going. But obviously, oh my god, is this a four v four? This is supremacy. This is meant to be six v six. But yeah, when you get swashbuckler going by five and everything with precision frames like this, you will start to absolutely drop people. Obviously, it's a one tap, and it's really nice. But even before it becomes a one tap and everything. It's still going to be a bow, and that's the thing. I think at the moment there is, um, what's called, a good bow meta kind of going around. Obviously, some people love it, some people hate it. You can see, you can double tap that guy. Like, you probably thought, oh, I'm kind of safe here. I can actually peek, and no, sir, you cannot peek. But yeah, with this, obviously, um, okay, we can actually swashbuckler going. And, oh, I didn't want to do that. No, but we have swashbuckler going by five. I didn't want to waste my freaking thing, but you'll see. The one taps will be there and everything. You can see. Oh my god, they just both got dropped. But that's what I'm saying when it comes to this uh, this bow in terms of um, what you should get and everything. In the current meta, I feel like bows are doing obviously really well. And you want one that will do obviously work for you. Obviously, oh my god, bruh, bruh. Who plays Hunter with quick snap grenades or cold snap grenades? That's a warlock thing, buddy. Get on the freaking warlock. Draw on those awesome ansi freaking gloves. But yeah, when it comes to bows and everything right now, they are doing, of course, really, really well. So you got to want one that's somewhat easy to farm and also that can absolutely do work. And you can kind of see that when you get a swashbuckler roll, especially, you can do a ton of damage and everything if you can hit your shot. But swashbuckler is not exactly going to last forever. But it will do work for you. And that's a conditional finality. But it will definitely do work. And that's what I'm saying. This is a farmable kind of one. There is other bows you can definitely use. Precision frame bows with swashbuckler, though, are very rare. I think this is only the one that you can get from... Uh, the old school, whoa, Europa freaking uh, quest lines and everything like that. We can kind of see that it can definitely go in. Uh, can I pop this freaking please? My good God, <laughs> the freeze of my ass. But yeah, the, you could only get it from the Europa sort of, um, what's it called, event or whatever. And it's honestly such a shame, but you can kind of see that it can go in. Freaking worm husk. Did that just save that guy's ass? There is no freaking way that just happened to me. But that's what I'm saying. Like, there's not an easy way to farm, like, really good bows in the game. Obviously, you can get patterns and whatnot. But this is for more people who, um, you don't really use bows often, but they want to kind of get into them because, obviously, they're getting absolutely, like, destroyed or hit by them a lot. It's definitely one way uh, bows you can kind of get. That's somewhat easy to farm in terms of people will obviously be doing Iron Banner this week or whatnot, so... Yeah, that's why I said this one will be really cool to kind of pick up now. Buddy, die for me and we'll get this one top going. Oh, oh, I got cooked by wall. What? Freaking dumbass wall. But there's the one top again, as I said. Especially on certain classes and obviously, um, what's it called? Oh, all right, buddy. Buddy, no. 
Get no, you son of a gun. Why do people always get away on my ass? And yo, no man, you really gonna try with tornado on my ass? He is. <laughs> but yeah, with Dark Time now obviously being um, a decent ass subclass and everything, there's a double tap. But even of course, um, arc subclass being great and Titan and everything, and this being an arc weapon too, there is some synergy going in that sort of regard as well. And I just all right, this is like a really weird ass game though, considering that uh, yeah, it's being oh. Wait, what the hell just killed him? Alright, I need to do what I need to do. Oh, put the wall up, put the wall up! We freaking build a wall, boys! We build a freaking wall! We'll get this guy. You know what? Screw this guy. Oh, young man, get your ass back here! We'll get him down. There's the freaking one tap. <laughs> oh, Petty and Grease are so much fun. But yeah, as I said, um, this is a weird ass game because it's 4v4 and Bungie's just like not filling anyone in, so you can kind of see that. Yeah, you're not really seeing much action, whatever. But I will still say that the bow is still a really, really good, I'd say, kind of starter bow you can kind of go in with. And. As I said, if you get people doing a true janitor role and cleaning up all your freaking kills, you will do absolute work. Like, look at that crap. Your man got like two, uh, three kills there, just absolutely nailing people. I was just, uh, what's it called? Putting the wood HP. The point is, like, it is, a, it is a really, really dope ass bow and everything. As I said, it's really easy to farm and it's just a solid first choice. I think that if you're going to be going for a bow, especially in the current meta, it's a solid bow to kind of go in with. And, <laughs> Oh my god. Once someone's 1 HP, it's honestly so easy to say the clean ass one tap like that. Now, buddy, he's weak, guys. He's weak. And oh, we get this guy. Oh, no. Oh my. Okay, I was going to super there. Sometimes my freaking arc shoulder charge just whiffs like hell. But yeah, definitely current meta. This is like the one to kind of like try to get your hands on because it will go in. Now, I just want a one tap, boys. What a one tap. Give me the one tap. Oh, there we go. And uh, let me get a freaking headshot. This guy. Ah, buddy. Buddy. I missed the shot. No, you're going to take my kill. Wait, where did you put him, buddy? What the? <laughs> Sent him over to freaking cross the stratosphere. It's just a really fun boat to go in with. Splash book down precision frames. It's kind of like the uh, the hidden jitsu. And oh my God, he's got absolutely blasted. Oh, I'm getting jiggled around the corner. Oh my God, my man is like freaking jelly with the jiggles. But you can see it. It's just so solid to got to go in with. Now, this guy is killing everyone. Oh. <laughs> oh, I used to be a Titan man, boys. I used to be a freaking Titan man, if you couldn't tell. Alrighty, so we're going to go in on the Radiant Cliffs itself. I'm doing another game because that last one was really weird. Four people were in for like the whole thing. But also, we want to go in with the bow meta more, guys. And I will definitely say bows are legit. They're rampant right now. Like, you'll see there is people, tons of people using freaking uh, bows and everything. I got freaking destroyed. But there's tons of people using bows right now. And as I said, point of the stag is like... What are these really perfect kind of like opening bows to kind of get your hands on? Because as I said, it's super easy to farm when it's open iron banner. You just have to get a couple of engrams. And also, yo, young man, can you just not? <laughs> but also because um, it is going to be pre precision framed, which honestly have so much uh, like accuracy and everything like that. They're not really hard to actually hit with. So like, you can see, you can get some easy freaking hits in and everything. No, young man, get your ass back here. No, someone out of you with me. Out of you with me, buddy. Out of you with me. And yo, if we do not get this guy. Oh my good God, guys. <laughs> How do I not get an assist there? But yeah, you do need someone to kind of out of you pee and everything like that. Now, yo, young man. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my God, he actually freaking threw that well. What the hell is that for a shot? Freaking Kobe Bryant over here. We'll get the Domsky though. But yeah, you can see that, um... Bows can be great by themselves and everything, but when you get someone kind of going in with you, that is where you see the true power of bows and everything. And oh my god, what the? Hello? <laughs> I'll take kills. Guys, if you don't take AFK kills, you're not freaking trying, okay? You're not freaking trying. But yeah, bows, I just think that they're just so freaking good right now. There is like definitely a freaking bow matter for me, as I said. Especially with, like, you can see with the Archon, if it's still casting at the ball going, you can just absolutely nail people. Well, bows can definitely do so much work PvP right now, and that's why, uh, this is like the perfect opportunity for people to kind of get a bow because you can see that guy's using the bow as well. He hit him weak there. We get freaking two bows. We get this guy. Oh, yo, yo, there's people everywhere. Yo, is this an enemy? Yo, bro, why are you swinging at me? I'm so confused. So get this guy though. There's the one top. And I'm so confused. There's so much crap around this place. Red radars and everything. And oh, he just got domed. I know Swashbuckler itself, a lot of people might not want it or anything like that. You can definitely go Precision Frames and everything, because Swashbuckler, I will say, the timer that it's actually up is relatively low. It definitely isn't up all the time. And how did I not hit this guy? What the? Oh, get this guy, though, 186. Oh, we get this guy. Keep on showing nades at this, buddy. Keep on showing nades at this. If you're going to do anything, there's a kill. But yeah, yeah Swashbuckler and everything, it is nice when you get hits and everything in. You can get one taps kind of going like this. But I will definitely say, and uh, did I not get the melee kill on him or something? Where's my swashbuckler? What? I need to look. I need to run that back. Run a freaking back. 
But I just think that for somebody who wants like a decent ass bow, I just have to rely on like a random world drop or something. This is actually really, really solid kind of to pick up and everything. Like you see, it can just go in. I mean, if you hit your shots, it can be freaking mighty. Oh my God. Oh my God. We actually don't do. Yo, anyone want to just alley-oop? As I said, I just need one dude to alley-oop for me. That's all I need now. Chuck that in there. Hit him. Yo. Yo, is he going for like... Okay, he didn't. I thought he was going for like a melee or something. No! No, not that guy. Oh my god, I'm getting blasted as well. Can we just like freaking not push me like this? Guys, someone help me out. Oh, I need the... Here's my alley-oop. Okay, I've got my shoulder charge so we can get a melee kill kind of going. Oh my god, why is there a whole team here? Yo. We got swashbuckler going. Anyone want to peek me? Peek me. There we go. There's 202. We keep it going. Uh, anyone here? Yo, buddy. Oh, we got him. There's the one top. Freaking roar of the bear. Because that's what I mean by the swashbuckler can be super fun and everything. Once you get it going, you can definitely start going ham. But obviously, it's just rare uptime. And obviously, you kind of have to spec into it. And that's why people might go for, as I said, those golden tricorns precision instrument. There's a ton of really, really good rolls and everything. But I just think that bows in general... There's definitely a bow meta right now. Like, you cannot deny it. People are just rocking it so much. If you have a whole squad using it, it's honestly super oppressive. Especially on, like, Hunter, Oak Keepers and whatnot. You'd have, like, so much freaking more kills and everything. You can legit just spam the bow so much if you do things like that. Now, I need to actually dip. I, got, I keep getting put to 1 HP within, like, 2 seconds. You know, screw this. Screw it. Oh, give me this guy. I didn't mean to run into him. No, I did not want to run into him. And I got shot around the corner. I went to go side past him. So I could arc him a little bit and then dip. Oh my good god. It's just a super nice bow. I just think that if you're going to be doing Iron Banner this week, this is something you should be looking to get a roll of. I think that there is some really nice rolls you can get on it. And bows in general, the only ones that I would say are better are going to be the crafty kind of bows, like under your skin and whatnot. But they're so hard to obtain, especially if there's no patterns. But this one can just go in like that. Look at that. Freaking insta-domed. Wow, we, get, we got a few jiggles going though. Boys, he's weak. Oh, what the hell was that? Is that the storm? Is that what the storm trance actually does now? We'll get that That's guy though. Oh man, when you hit a when you hit a headshot and just one taps or gets clean, like just shot. It feels so nice and everything. I will definitely say with orbs this season too, it makes bows just go like, in a little bit more. Because you get the insta shot already to like hundred HP. And then I can just whip out the bow to kill them. So this is guy over here. This is what I mean. You can do stuff like that. Now, obviously, if you didn't have a freaking overshield and nail them, but you can do stuff like that where you can just uh, drop them so quickly with the orbs, as I said. It's just overall just a really sweet ass build. Ah, no, I missed my shot. Oh my god. Bro, why are you teabagging hot? You're using an unending tempest, okay? I might be using a bow, but you are still using something that is known to be kind of, sh uh, what's it called? The cheesy thing as well, SMGs. We're all cheesing, buddy. We are all cheesing. We're legit freaking cows at this stage producing the cheese. But I will definitely say that um, the weapon itself, it is obviously really, really nice when you kind of get it going in and everything. Oh, I, I did not. <laughs> I just did name. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just such a good bow, as I said. It's just a really solid one to pick up. And with Iron Banner being up this week, it's definitely worth grabbing, as I said. There's some really solid rolls. And if you don't have really good bows, or you don't really want to go out and, like, obviously rely on RNG, this is the perfect way to farm them. Farm Iron Banner. Well, that is it for me and the point of the side combat bow. As I said, currently this thing is, it's honestly really, really dope. I will definitely say my role definitely isn't the best one. Archer's tempo here will be better. I love Swashbuckler on these two though, when you spec into it, because you can get one taps going. But people would say, obviously, go and try Corn. Um, obviously, there's other things like Precision Instrument. People would say to go for them as well. If you want a bit more consistency with Swashbuckler with a one tap build. It's so much fun. Get one shoulder charge kill. You start one tapping everything. It can be an absolute blast. As I said, point of the stag is just one of these bows where I'd say it's a really good kind of starter bow. Lightweight frames take a bit of getting used to. They're obviously quicker, but they are less accurate. So precision frames are like a really good kind of starter kind of bow to go in with if, if you're going to be getting used to bows. And as I said, there's not many bows I would say that you can just grab for free that are legendary without RNG implications and everything. Obviously rolls in this are RNG, but you can definitely focus toward them where I'm talking about like under skin, pure RNG, obviously, too. Of course, you need red borders. There is, of course, the Nightfall reward as well, which can be really quick as well. For the most part, just do an Iron Banner, getting yourself some bow rolls. It will let you contend in the bow meta. A good swashbuckler build on this can definitely contend. Point of the stag as well means you can run conditional finality because you can go in the top slot and other weapons too and more or whatever. I just think that overall, especially on like a Dark Titan or something like that, this can go definitely in. So yeah, I would definitely say with the current meta, the Sea Bow meta, you should definitely look at getting the points aside because they can go in the Sea Bow meta, Sea Bow meta, Sea Bow meta. But regardless, if you like the video, show us a like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe for Tassie Day. And hopefully, we'll see you in the next collective in the next one.
Thank you.